Oh my god, is that Donnie 2K? What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Donnie2K, Donnie2Time, whatever one you prefer. We back. We back with another video. We back with another banger. I actually got something new and improved for y'all. It's gonna be a, well, I actually read the title, so you know exactly what it is, but I'm about to tell you again. It's gonna be a D1 Day in the Life Basketball Edition. Now, I wanted to do this for y'all so y'all can see both sides of the spectrum, both sports. Some people like football, some people like basketball, some people like baseball. I want to do all sports for y'all. So I hope y'all enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, repost, comment, all of the things. Um, we're going to keep running this bag up, man. 300 subscribers on the way. Gang. Mm, what's up, y'all? It's Braxton Tucker, and today I will be taking you through a day in the life with me. Right now it is currently 6.30 a.m., boy kind of tired i had a lot of work yesterday but i usually wake up 6 30 i'm brush my teeth wash my face and get ready to go to eight o'clock breakfast so that's what we're gonna do right now let's check for y'all so we rocking today just some easy slides nike socks jordan southern jogs playing black polo tee beanie from i'm only human just got it from a pop-up i went to last week and yeah man finna go get breakfast so y'all we are on georgia southern camp that's hand a few hours right there we hooping that just park walking to breakfast today finna be a, a grind day got three classes and workouts and lift and we got mandatory 8 a.m breakfast so walking to breakfast right now that's camp right there Today should be a good day though, you know? Every day, every day you wake up, should be a good day. Just wanna get after it, so I'm gonna get after it today. Start off with breakfast, always eat breakfast. The most important meal of the day for real. Get your energy levels right, wake you up a little bit. So I'm gonna get breakfast with it's with the squad and I'll check in with y'all when I get there. It was kinda foggy outside. It just look, bro, camp looks so good, like. We got our little, our pond or little lake, whatever you want to call it. Can't just look so tough, bro. Can't still look good, but yeah, I just want to show you all that. <laughs> uh, my, my boy Cam saw me. Uh, the GA saw me, so he gave me a gave me a lift to uh, breakfast in the cart. But yeah, uh, this is this is a late shot. This is like our, our morning dining hall. We have two dining halls. It's late shot. Uh, this is where we begin breakfast, have team breakfast. So I'm gonna get my plate, and I'll be back with y'all. All right, y'all. Just finished breakfast. Uh, had a little break. Now I'm about to go to my first class of the day. It's history. So I'm gonna walk over there. It's literally right across from the dining hall. So I'm gonna walk right over there. And uh, get some learning, man. This is the interdisciplinary building. That's where I have history at. I'm gonna get to it, man. Uh, just got out of uh, history. Now I'm gonna go to go to lift, get this lift in right quick. Today's on Wednesday, so lift should be relatively short. Probably only 30, 40 minutes. Um, on Wednesdays, we usually just do like arms, just like fry our arms, pretty much. Like it's pretty much like a pump, pretty much. So I'm gonna go in there right now, get that lift in, and continue my day. Y'all, uh, 
bathroom. So go ahead and get changed. Do what I gotta do, man. As y'all can see, I've changed. I'm my little workout attire, man. It's my locker right here. They go get this lift in, man. Let's get it. It got better outside. It's nice and sunny. The tennis court right there. Kinesiology lab, another tennis court. Let's see. And boom. There we have it. That's where we lift at Ironworks. It's the, it's the baseball stadium over there. Cone Hall, academic hall over there. But this, this is where we get that lift in. Ironworks right here. Let's get it. Correct. So, today, bro. This is it. Today, I just got that pump in. Did a little lift day. Fried my arms and we did some core. And a real slow. No Kenny, no. No, I get, but. Uh, finna grab my protein shake. Got my name on it. Gonna drink, drink it up and then at the class, man. I got yoga at 11 15, so gotta drink this up right quick and just go on and get ready to go to class. I know I can't be the only one. I don't like protein shakes, like, I hate them. They taste so bad. Sometimes it's too chunky. It just, it just has a weird taste to it. So I just hold my breath and drink mine. Oh, it's awful though. Post pump flow type shit. Man, post pump flow, man. You see it? You see it? You see it? Come on. We getting lit. Post pump always gets you right. Let's get off the bus. I'm at the wreck. It's like our recreation center. Come here to like hoop, work out, go to the pool. It's a hot tub and stuff. It's pretty dope. This is yoga classes is in the back. Finna go in, get this yoga class in. I'm a little late. Appreciate it. But, finna get right. Today we have a skills test, so she's gonna go check in with everybody. Damn, I was mad close. She's gonna check in with everybody. Got a skills test today. Um, I think we just gotta do like five poses or whatever. So it's like, I think it's really the last class of the semester for yoga too. So that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, bro, this is yoga, bro. Should be smooth little, smooth little 30 minute class, maybe. All right, y'all. Out of yoga, on the way back to my car, going to go home, uh, have a little break between this and practice, or really work out today. So I'm gonna go home, just rest up for a few, probably get a nap in right quick, maybe just vibe. I don't really know. I, I don't have a lot of homework, or I don't really have any homework to do for real. So I just go home, relax a little bit, just chill. And uh, yeah, just get ready for that three o'clock workout. Just got done my clay drill. And now I'm in the training room. Y'all can see here. We got a nice little trainer, man. All the trainers kind of out right now. But 
Finna get some ice for my knees. I usually ice after practice, after every practice for about 20, 20 minutes, you know. I'll take this out. Make sure everything good with my body. Recovery is always important. I feel like recovery is kind of overlooked by a lot of athletes, especially a lot of young athletes, man. Hey, stretching and icing is very important, bro. I wish I would have stretched and ice when I was younger because I guarantee you, I wouldn't have gone through so many aches and pains that limited me from playing at my best potential. So definitely ice. I get two ice bags, get an ice bag after practice. And ice up, bro, ice your legs, bro. You gotta think, you gotta preserve your body. You're pushing your body at your, at your limits every single day. You wanna preserve your body for as long as possible, bro. Cause one day you will stop playing sports. This makes you feel overall better, man. So I get two ice bags, place them on my knees and I get right. Yeah, so I'm chilling here, you can see on my knees leaving on for about 20 minutes and i just vibe out bro just vibe out. get on my phone scroll on tiktok and just vibe out as y'all can see i'm back in the whip ski just got done icing up doing what i had to do now that i'm done in the gym and i put my work in didn't pay my dues the rest of the day is mine so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the dining hall get some grub because we gotta refuel especially after an intense workout and uh, I'm gonna take y'all to the dining hall and show y'all how I, what I put on my plate after practice. Well, I did not show you guys what I ate before practice because I really don't like to work out on a like a full stomach. It makes me like feel kind of weird, but I do like to get a snack in. So I did eat a beef patty. So make sure y'all, if y'all working out or anything like that, make sure you feel your body, bro. Like it takes you a long way. You know what I'm saying? From cr it takes it prevents you from cramping, from feeling real bad. Just feel your body, bro. Do right by your body, but always refuel. Always refuel after a, a hard workout, especially rehydrate, refuel with with uh with good food, bro. Don't put in like don't be eating fries and all that greasy stuff, man. That it's not good for your body. Make sure you refuel, bro. Put some greens on that plate, fruit, find the stuff you like for sure. But as y'all can see, we sliding over to the dining hall. It's not even far from Hannah, for real. I'm gonna get right with this meal plan. No kidding me. We at the dining hall, y'all. I'm gonna go in and get this grub right quick. I'm not starving, but I am pretty hungry. Not gonna lie. I'm at the dining hall. I wanted to show y'all camp a little bit. It's the university store. Got a little bus lane. People use the bus, the bus right there. And this right here behind me is the dining hall, bro. This is it. This is where I fill my stomach up every day, pretty much. So, I'm gonna show you. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna adjust. This is, this is it, bro. It's the dining hall. Not crazy big. It's all right, get right. All right, so I personally like to go to the soul food station. We got pizza and pasta right there. It's fries and like tenders on the other side. I personally go to the soul food station because that's my favorite one to go to. We got cookies over there, but they have like greens and stuff like ribs, all that good stuff. So I can refuel. So I'm going to get some of that. All right, so I done sat down. I got my plate together in the dino hall. I got my cantaloupe pineapple my little beef patty got the uh, greens turkey sausage casserole i think it's like potato casserole and they had crepes today so i had to give me a crepe yeah i'm about to go stupid bro i'm so hungry so i'm gonna, I'm gonna see y'all after i'm done eating always say oh grace first crazy man time to eat no kidding. All right, Joel. So I just left the dining hall. Let me turn that hair down a little bit. I just left the dining hall. I'm on the way to my homeboy's house because we finna just chill out, vibe at the crib, just hang. As you can see here, this is it's like more the freshman side of camp. We got all the dorms and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? My boy Lynn used to stay over at Watson, so he was always over there. And JB, they building some new dorms or whatever right over there nice little lake area or pond whatever you want to call it over there but yeah man just driving in the whip ski on the way to just hang with the guys man my day 
had a real productive day. I don't have any homework because, you know, I'm studious. <laughs> but, um, yeah, bro, I'm just going to vibe out. I might I might do a little, little, uh, little review or something like that. That's where I stayed my freshman year, Southern Ponds, right there. I stayed right in there. But, yeah, man, I'm going to just vibe out. Ain't really nothing. Ain't really nothing else going on for tonight. It's like what 6:05 right now. My day's pretty much over. I ate. I got food at the crib too for dinner because that was really for me just lunch. So I eat dinner around like nine. So I, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. Finally come to my man spot. And yeah, bro, just chill. Uh, all right. At my boy's crib. Boy twin. Hey, twin, say what's up to the vlog, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy, twin, man. I'm just from the vibe and kick it. Yeah, here for the dude, yeah. Yeah, my, my, yeah, bro. My, my man's is a barber, man. Hey, best in the borough. No Kenny. Best in the borough. You already know. He really him. He ain't right every time. But, yeah, man, we just finna kick it, chill. Just vibe. All right, chill. It's not time. I'm back in my spot. Stop the water. Back in my spot. Alright, y'all, I just got back to the crib. Had a long day. And um, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm finna take a shower and call it a day, bro. I'm finna lay in bed and just relax. I just came back from hanging out with Chris and Twin, my boys. I'm finna just chill out and vibe for the rest of my night.